Two and nine, a warning from election officials as we get closer to November 5th. Scammers are using deep fakes and artificial intelligence to take advantage. Fox 31 problem solver Shell Turner with how to protect your money. Well, the Federal Trade Commission is investigating and monitoring this criminal activity. These scammers prey on voters with intense emotions about an intense race for the White House. Number one thing is they want money. From calls, texts, and emails with fake voter registration reminders to phony polls on social media. Scammers are hoping to cash in on those eager to make their voice heard. Election officials are sending out a warning. There's a lot of misinformation that's out there. There's a lot of uh, AI that's now out there on, on Facebook and on social media. The problem solvers ask cybersecurity expert Pete Nicoletti, a member of the FBI and Secret Service Cybersecurity Task Force, about the most common scams. They're preying on, you know, the fact that you might be very serious about one political party. These artificial intelligence engines are, and because there's been so many breaches, the hackers know a lot about us, so they can prey upon what is important to us, whether I'm a Corvette collector or I contribute to the Republicans or the Democrats. New technology is a main tool used by scammers who are raking in millions. Just earlier this year, we had a fake Zoom call where everybody was on was uh, was recorded uh, fake except the one person that transferred $24 million. And that person was the CEO of a company. It's only getting tougher to spot deep fakes, which are very real looking phony videos. You used to be easy to spot. You used to be able to look at light sources and count fingers and, and look at the context of the picture, but that's not true anymore. We live now in a post real society. So what do you do? Delete unsolicited emails or texts, then ask you to click on links for more information and keep your personal information to yourself. Anytime they ask for any kind of personal information, that's a red flag. And election officials say when you see information, especially on social media, make sure you fact check it yourself from a credible source. And remember, scammers are good at faking caller ID. So if your phone says you are getting a call from the White House and you don't work in the Oval Office, it's a scam. Shaw Turner reporting live in Denver, Fox 31.